Hello YouTube, this is part four of my Revitus uh, GMRS 2A Peter box mod. Like I said in the other videos, I had to um, modify this since I replaced the duplexer in there because I wanted to add an amplifier. The wires came in, everything is done. So this is it right here, it turned out pretty good. I did, like I said before, I did ground. I ground off the paint and have a ground wire that goes to the power supply. That obviously is part of the power cord. I did turn down because if you don't, if if you recall, I have to have the repeater on low setting, or it's otherwise it's too much feeding the amplifier. So I used the software to turn it down on low. That's about six to seven watts. I know I know they say you know six is the maximum, but you gotta you know keep in mind there's gonna be some loss in the cable and my meters five percent. So I I think it'll be fine. I did label since you can't really see the duplexer. I did write down the the high and the low frequencies. This puts out after the duplexer, the power out to the antenna is about 17 watts. Now, keep in mind, the duplexer is going to take some power away. The amplifier does put out, which I did check it, about 35.5, I think it was, or something like that. So I do get that, you know, this power supply does work really well. Um, but by the time it goes through the duplexer, which is underneath here, it, it takes some, you know, it, it cuts the power back. That's just the way it is. I didn't want to run a separate power supply for this. So I just used, since this can run on DC, I just used the um, DC adapter to plug it into this power supply. So both these items are running on the same power supply. This one can handle it. This can do 30 amp. What I'll do, th this is where the coax will come in. Here's the power cord. I'll put like steel wool in here to keep the animals from crawling in. If I have a heat problem, I will drill holes in the bottom of this, and I can lay some. I, oh, I can lay some screen underneath the power supply to keep the insects out if I if I need to. Um. Yeah, so I do have the U-bolts to chain. I already showed you all that in the last video. But uh, this is it. This is, uh, she's she's working pretty good. Let's go ahead and key her up. You can see the 17, 17 watts there. The nice thing about doing this, if I want to run just a stock repeater for another project, I just pop these screws out, unscrew the, two, the cables coming, going into it, I have the cables fed in. I remember I told you I took out that that plug. There's a silver plug. I took this one out. It just unthreads like a bolt, and that's how I got the cables coming in. So I didn't need to drill any holes in here. But the duplexer inside of here is not hooked up. Um, and I showed you in my other videos how to do that. I use string. I just laid put all this together and laid string down inside there to try to figure out the length that I need. Um, you want to keep these cables as short as possible, but remember you got some bends, so kind of keep that in mind. You got to kind of bend it gracefully. You can't have a sharp bend, so. Um, but I, I, they're fairly short. I mean, I kind of wish I would have got them a little shorter, but these are pre-made cables with the ends already on them. I'm not running any adapters, like for instance, um, the one down here is a PL259 connector that goes into a uh, end connector. I, I ordered that cable with those connectors on there, so I don't got to use adapters. Um, so these, so some of the sizes, if you pre-order it, you let's say you wanted something that was 13 inches. Well, you you can only usually get them, you know, a foot, uh, 16, I believe. Um, so that's where sometimes you got to get a little bit longer than you want, um, if unless you make your own cables. But um. But these are pre-made. I ordered them off eBay. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Like I said, the coax cable come in from the bottom here. 
and I'll put a steel wool in there. I don't think I'm, I'll have a heat problem, but if I do, like I said, I can just drill holes, pop this power supply out, and then just lay a screen in there and put the power supply black. The power supply is mounted. I got the bolt there that's also the ground for the cabinet. Uh, I think that's really about it. Just remember, turn down your amplifier or your, sorry, your repeater. Use the software. There's a low and a high setting. Put it on low if you're going to run an amplifier. Otherwise, you're going to burn it up. It cannot handle the power coming out directly from the repeater itself. This is this is before the duplexer in here. I'm talking before the duplexer. I did video on that so you, you can look it up and see what I mean. But you got to check your your power coming out. Um, now just because mine does about 6 watts doesn't necessarily yours will be exactly the same. You should always double check it. But you got to me measure before the duplexer what the power is. And I do have it on low. You can see the low on there. When you, and when you key it up, it doesn't go all the way up. And I do have a dummy load hooked up. So, yeah, this is it. So, like I said, this project is done. I may do a distance test with this. We'll see. Um, I still got to do the other video with the with the Mer, with the uh, MERS frequency, and I have a few ideas on that one. I've been kind of doing some checking, and and so I'm gonna try to. I don't think I'll be using the Revitus um, repeater to compare because I cannot turn the power down low enough. And I want to be a fair comparison, so we're gonna just use a handheld. I think for that for both comparison and it'll be more of an accurate comparison if i can get the handheld down to two watts then i'll just use the gmr frequency and then that'd be more of a fair comparison than using a repeater um i yeah i know i could buy an attenuator and, and cut this back but i'm, I'm not going to screw with that so at any rate i hope you liked the video any questions or comments please post them down below and please subscribe thank you